Hey, how's it going? Probably not so good if you clicked on this video. And that's why I'm here today to show you what you're looking for and how to do it. If you're anything like me, you went out and you spent your hard earned money on a nice camera, hoping that you could just connect it to your computer and start recording, right? I mean, that's what we're all doing today. We're trying to make YouTube videos. We're trying to make music videos. We're trying to vlog, blog, whatever you're trying to do. Reaction videos, all of it. But you want good quality. And I think this looks really good, doesn't it? I mean, it's better than what I was using. I was using an action camera, a $30 action camera with a fisheye lens. Just It made me look horrible. And I'm really happy with the way this looks. And what I did is I went out and I bought the Canon M50. And after months of research, I knew that there's going to be some roadblocks and I might have to get a cam link if I wanted good footage, but I just went with it. You know, I don't have the best computer or operating system right now, but I wanted a good camera. I wanted to learn it. And I think I have now because here I am recording and I think it looks really good. So let me show you what I'm working with. Give me a second here. So what I have is the Canon M50 with the Sigma 16 millimeter lens. Looks really good, I think so. And here's my settings. And I'm only using a USB, not HDMI, and it's plugged right into my computer. No cam link, nothing else. And I promise you this will work if you stick with me. So. And here's the thing, you're going to have to mess with the settings because when I plugged it in, it didn't look right. And when I finally got the software and the, the beta and all that stuff, it didn't look the way I wanted to. It was still really grainy and I almost jumped in and paid $300 for a cam link, okay? But here I am. And I think, you know, I don't know if I'm completely in sync. I've messed with the audio levels a little bit, but I'm running an OBS that's the way I prefer because then I can do reaction videos I can pull up another screen I can do the, these videos without having to edit it in post and make it harder on myself this makes it really easy so I don't know if I said this already but you're gonna have to mess with your settings depending on where you're recording you know your light I have an aperture light I have an ND filter and it just it works pretty well I think so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to Google or whatever search in you, engine you use. And that's why I'm doing this video because there's a lot of videos about you know, this webcam utility, but they don't show you exactly what you need to know because I went by what they said and it didn't work. It looked crappy. I don't wanna do a screen capture of the webcam utility. I want OBS to recognize it through my computer as a video capture device and that's exactly what I'm doing I promise you so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to this website and you're gonna select your camera just like everyone else shows you right yeah so you know I went down and it um, it automatically recognizes your operating system so I'm looking at all these downloads right and here it is Oh, the utility for Windows okay you know so I download that and I tried you know just doing the screen capture from the the software the program that they give you right and it just it didn't look very good it was, it's basically cap capturing or it is capturing from your LCD screen um, so I did some more research and I'm wondering I'm like well this is the utility but all these the videos are saying the beta okay well how come I can't see the beta it's not on here so the thing is the beta only works for Windows 10 but I'm running Windows 8.1 so I just went for it okay I, I had nothing to lose why not right oh and here it is the beta for Windows but it's only available in Windows 10 and I'm sure most of you are using Windows 10 but I'm telling you this is what you need to get because you don't want this EOS utility and I think I have that downloaded but um, that's the actual program and what this is it's just a driver so OBS recognizes it so what I did is let's take this off here so once I got that driver installed all you do is you download it 
double click on it and it installs right here's the trick because you have the utility software every time you plug in your com your camera it's gonna recognize it and it's gonna show up so what you want to do sorry about the hall of mirrors here but what you're gonna want to do is go down to your system utility tray and when that opens you're gonna want to right click and close it you know cuz see I have the EOS utility but you're gonna want to right click and close it because otherwise OBS will not recognize it and see here we go if you look at this if I click on my video capture device this isn't you know a window capture I have a window capture for the Google source if you click on this look at that EOS webcam utility beta and I'm not on Windows 10 here I am recording so you want to click on that okay and that's you know you think it would just show up your Canon camera but because of this driver that's what it shows up as so here we are let's take off the display capture now so hopefully that all uh, cleared things up for you maybe I went through it too fast I apologize this is kind of spur of the moment because my uh, my battery's gonna die soon too but because I just got this figured out you know I, I hopped on the other day just plugging it in after thinking that I got it and it looked decent and then I went out and took some pictures and I messed with all my settings and I plugged it in today and it looked like crap it was super blurry and I just had to mess with everything all your lighting and it's all gonna account for a better picture I've looked at these other videos and it's just it looks like a Skype call it's really grainy a lot of noise I think this looks decent I mean maybe you know I could do better I know I could if I get the cam link and spend the three hundred dollars in a better computer which down the road I'm gonna do but for now to make these videos to help others out here I am so maybe I'm not in sync um, I might have to mess you know you have to I have an external mic that I'm using I'm not using the camera mic um, you gotta mess with the settings and that I've tried it um, I haven't perfected that yet maybe I'll do a video how to do that down the road but huge shout out to Canon I mean this is a big step in the right direction for them upping their game it's part of the reason it's the main reason why I went with Canon and got the M50 I, I knew that there was gonna be roadblocks but I got around them and you can too so hopefully this video helps you and if it did please like share subscribe and I wish you all the best on your journey. But until then, folks, Godspeed.